I was afraid the government would respond to the financial crisis by doing more of the same policies that caused it, which is more deficit spending, more cheap money, more central banking and central planning. And as a result, I think the U.S. economy is now poised for a much bigger collapse. I think that what's coming is a sovereign debt crisis and a currency crisis uh, that will make the financial crisis of 08 you know, look like you know, the proverbial Sunday school picnic. Is it something that's affecting the economy right now? Oh, absolutely. The fiscal cliff specifically is one of the major ways in which the slow recovery that we have could be completely derailed. You know, hard landing in China, uh, euro collapsing, problems in the Middle East, and fiscal cliff is probably paramount in, those, in, in that area. As a matter of policy, as and, opposed to an apocalyptic. But, and way the to most get important there. price is interest rates, which right. have to go exactly. up. That is but the no price. one wants to let them go up because the banks will fail. We have currently have no price integrity in any asset. And, and, and we're on the precipice of collapse. That's right. Where we are. So this, this system is in collapse. And it's it's unbelievable. And most people don't even see what's going on. If you watch CNBC, if you actually pay attention to the US media. Uh, they will always tell you there's uh, green shoots or it's, uh, it's going to be a recovery. Mm -hmm. There's no chance of that. You don't think there are any signs of that? There's no, it's not possible. We're in the last days of this financial system in the U.S. This is Zimbabwe. When this, when it starts to collapse, it's going to happen very fast. If people don't start to wake up to what's going on, they're going to get hurt in this collapse. Uh, but this is where it's going, uh, that we have to now just get as far away from the U.S. and from the Western world. Uh, because this collapse is going to be messy. We've got to ask ourselves, why are the feds preparing for a war against Americans? Why have they bought now more than two billion bullets, all kinds of arms and ammunition, and now more than 2,700 tanks to patrol in America and keep order? We're told it's because they love us. We're told it's to keep the peace and to increase safety. But of course, we also know from Army documents, from Homeland Security reports, and a lot of other information that it's really to occupy America and prepare for a civil unrest and a total economic collapse that will include gun confiscation. The rise of the warrior cop. So, what do you mean? Our cops are getting increasingly like soldiers. They're being dressed like soldiers, they're being armed like soldiers, they're sent out in the streets told they're fighting a war. And when you do that, uh, you know, you, we shouldn't be surprised when we see some of the results we've seen uh, with, at the lead-in where they start treating uh, American citizens more like en enemy combatants than you know citizens with rights. Meaning, mostly you're talking about these SWAT team raids. Uh, yeah, uh, over the last uh, probably 20 years, there's been about a 1,500 percent increase in the number of SWAT raids in the U.S. Often, is 10 or 20 guys dressed in black, yep, heavily armed. I mean, they look like a military squad. I mean, they look like a, a you know a, a, a unit that would invade a, a, a village in, in Iraq looking for <laughs> insurgents. Speaking of the police state which 9-11 ushered in, a 16-year-old is questioned by FBI, by FBI officials over a YouTube video that he uploaded. According to Justin Hallman, a 16-year-old, after having uploaded a YouTube video which highlighted how America was slipping into a police state, he was visited by FBI officials. Police state. Fourth of July, here's our video. M16s. Because we don't live in a police state, sir. Martial law has not been established in this country. Hey, the door, sir. Stand up. You're gonna kick my door. You kick my door down. You kick my door down. You Get kicked my ground. door down. Yes, Get no, you have no right to be in here. You have no right to be in here. You have no right to be here. You don't. You have no right to be in here. Do not touch her. You are assaulting her. Yeah, I didn't open up the door. I went open up. Now they're barging in my door for what reason?
If what we saw in response to bombs was that, what will the response be in the wake of something bigger? Is that when we'll see martial law take effect across the country? And more importantly, will people just accept it entirely out of fear? It was never meant that we would have this gigantic uh, police force from the, from the federal government. I mean, we had martial law up there, FBI and all these agents coming in, closing things down, going to people's houses. The police state is staring us in the eye and it's getting uh, more and more uh, imposed upon us and more and more imposed on society every day. More and more people are waking up faster and faster and faster. I think it could very well come to that based on the things that are happening in the news and we're seeing you know, the collapse of our economy, so many different things happening. I have spoke, spoken with one federal agent um, and, and the information succinctly boiled down is this. There is an event coming, Steve, in, in the very near term future that is going to affect the United States of America to its very soul that what is being planned as, as you and I are on the air tonight and what has been coming together in, into that old term, the perfect storm, uh, is, is literally a brewing right over our heads. It is and includes military maneuvers in the United States, military actions that are forthcoming and that will be so deep and so penetrating that the United States will never be the same. Who have heard about the NSA spying on us all and think, eh, no big deal. I'm not a terrorist, so I have nothing to worry about. Think again. Because we are all potential terrorists, according to the American government. You can't just do these kind of things. And this one is not only repealing the principles of liberty, but it's, uh, it's destroying the Constitution. All of these invasions of our personal privacy under the guise of protecting us, they're just wrong. And it's no longer about keeping us safe. This is about keeping us safely under the government's eye. And it is clear the government is watching all the time. Oil looks higher, gold looks higher, currencies look weaker. More about this uh, currency crisis you see uh, erupting. What does that assume about what's going to happen to the dollar? Well, it, it assumes that the dollar will utterly get destroyed and become <laughs> virtually worthless. I don't know how that inevitably resolves itself. Um, it may resolve itself in some type of a, of a global currency crisis. And then if the global currency crisis unfolds, then inevitably you get, uh, I guess, an alignment under a, a global world government, uh, a new global currency, um, and a new world order. Growing debate in Washington following reports that some U.S. senators are now considering an immigration bill that would force all U.S. workers to carry around biometric ID cards. Well, it is an idea that is now raising some serious concerns among privacy advocates. Through the advancing market of biometrics, technology that uses physiological and behavioral recognition to identify people. A system touted as a national security necessity is being used to build a database where the biometric identity of millions of Americans will be gathered and stored. We really need to, to attack this in a comprehensive kind of way, not some knee-jerk reaction like sticking yeah. something in someone's finger to verify who they are right. and whether or not they can be employed in this country. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security has been buying up massive amounts of ammunition. Americans are wondering why. Do you think this is a sign that they're preparing for some sort of mass civil unrest? If you look at what the Department of Homeland Security has been purchasing over the last year, uh, it comes out to like 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition, more than 7,000 fully automatic assault weapons, 2,700 MRAP type vehicles, and now drones. Those are instruments of war. Department of Homeland Security, who are they going to fight a war against? Uh, would I participate in assisting the feds coming in to states and going into homes and taking everybody's gun away? And I said, I would not be a part of something like that. And I said, one of the reasons is I wouldn't want to get shot, because the American people are only going to put up with so much before they push back. And I said, if the feds tried to do that, disarm this country, I said, you would see an uprising and maybe the, the uh, uh, a version of the second American.